Uh, first of all, I'm happy to be here in the Gordon family courtside club. You know, Keith had her press conference here, and uh, I got a little jealous, so I thought maybe we could move over here to have one here just to start off the year because this is such a nice uh, setting that we have. I want to start off thanking uh, Crystal and everything GECU does for our program, and of course Oscar too, of course. Uh, you know, it's hard to follow, follow Oscar's uh, stand-up comedian act. I try to do my best. And uh, I noticed when he was up there giving this pose right there, that he looked like an offensive center. So he, fit in pretty well. he fit in pretty well with Hub there, Oscar. Um, and also, I want to say, we had Azel Jolly, number 22 here, right, as a true freshman. And there, there he is over there, a true freshman running back for us. And I said, well, hold on, how's a true freshman get this kind of pub so early in his career? And there's a little bit of politics behind it. Zell's had a great camp. He's going to be a really special running back for us. We can't wait to see him play. He's going to get some action in his first ball game against Jacksonville. But this is kind of an inside job because Hubbard got, Stephen got to pick out who, who could come with him. And, of course, he picked another guy from, from Houston, right? So they took care of each other. So, that's why he's always here, right? So that's a Houston, Houston representation of the Knights, right? Um, you know, we're obviously getting ready for a, a zero-week game, again, for the second year in a row for our football program. And, and uh, we've been preparing, the summer. as Jim mentioned, we started uh, July 26th, right? We started camp July 26th, so wow, was that early, right? And that month, I thought the whole summer just flew by. It seems like to begin in May when we had the coffee for Luke Offenberg, and then before you know it, July 26th was here, and now before you know it, uh, there's only uh, actually three more practices to our first game, right? So, uh, and as a head coach, I was thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff that I want to get done uh, in those three practices. But the one thing, we're preparing at a very high level, and I want to recognize our dance team, our cheer team, and our band because they all prepare at such a high level. So it was nice having some of them here today being able to see them because they're preparing just as hard as we do. And I'm really proud of the effort that they put out for our, for our whole uh, athletic department and what they do. It's really pretty cool. So um, really grateful to them. And it's nice when you're working hard to know that you got the other ones that are out there with you working just as hard. So again, um, I want to pay, pay due to them and all the work that they put in. You know, our football team, we talked about the Sun Bowl. One of the things we haven't talked about the Sun Bowl is that now we have new turf, right? And um, the new turf looks really cool from up above, but when you get down and look at it and you actually practice on it, like we got to do a little bit in our summer conditioning, it's really, really a neat look down the field. And so we talk about the nostalgia and the tradition of the Sun Bowl, which is so, so neat. And, um, but the thing that, uh, that we're really proud of is that we're 11 and 3 in the Sun Bowl over the last three years, right? So that's a, you know, an incredible record at home. And as Oscar talked about, uh, trying to, and Crystal talked about, trying to get more fans in the stands. Obviously, that's what you're always trying to do. And, uh, and it's really important to us because the guys do play a lot harder when the stands are full. They play extremely hard, but just having that support makes them feel really cool and it makes them feel really good about everything they're doing there. So again, um, Looking forward to getting the, you know, selling season tickets as we continue to go through the next few weeks here. We have a great home slate ahead of us on the season. Uh, a lot of very difficult games coming in. We've got UNLV, a Mountain West team, and our fans always like it when we play Mountain West teams, as well as we talked about the incarnate word. And then our first home conference game against Louisiana Tech, uh, you know, will be a big test for us. We were able to beat them here two years ago, and so we want to be able to do that again. Uh, this year and get a good home conference win to start off the home conference play. So um, that's the, the, the beginning part of the schedule. Um, talking about our roster, you know, our roster right now, I feel like we're the most athletic that we've been. Uh, we got some goals that we want to accomplish. You know, last year we wanted to be only the second team in school history to go back to back bowl games, and this year we want to be only the uh, second team to do it in, in two out of three years, right? So again, there's a lot for us to work towards, a lot for us to accomplish this year. We want to have the opportunity to do that by playing, uh, you know, taking it one game at a time right now. That's the big thing for us. Let's take it one game at a time. We know one thing that as we go and take the field, we're going to be you know, a very athletic football team. We're going to be a team that uh, we know the brand of UTEP football, the 
we put out there that we have a UTEP football brand. That brand is recognized uh, across the country in the football uh, by people that know the game of football. It's very well recognized, and we're proud of that, that we play really good football, and we play physical football, and that we have a really good team, right? And I think that's recognized across the college football world. And so this year with our team that we feel like is the most athletic that we've had, the challenge comes in the fact that we open up uh, you know, across the country in a conference game and, and team's first game in, their co in, their, in our new conference. So they're going to be very excited to play that game. They're going to be ready to play, obviously. And it'll be a tough environment for us, right? And so for us, as I talked to Taish about earlier today, you know, for us, that's even a better challenge. And that even motivates us more to have ourselves ready to play a great game and get ourselves prepared to go down there and, and, um, and handle all the elements. Uh, you know, we've had a, a very warm uh, summer, as we all know, in El Paso, and we've run and conditioned at a higher level than, than we ever had throughout the summer. Our guys are very well conditioned. Our guys are very prepared to handle the elements that that first game will bring. And so now it's just getting out. The big thrust for us in the first game is I just approached the, gym, the specifics of the first game for us. It's a conference road game, and I think what's really important about a conference road game is that you minimize your unforced errors, right? So that's going to be really big for us to minimize our unforced errors in that game. And for us, then, you know, the specifics of it, uh, we have to play minor football because we proved last year, you know, I thought we played really, I thought we were really playing well at the end of the season last year. So we went through the FIU game. It was pretty much a flawless game for our football team. And then the UTSA game, we go there and play UTSA. The way that we play it and have that big lead until you know our second string quarterback pulls his hamstring and then we couldn't hold on to the league. Um, but until that point, we're going to play some really, really good football uh, in that game as well. So I like where we left the season as a football team. I think we're a better football team right now uh, than where we were at this time last year. Uh, we're definitely a more deep and more talented defensive football team uh, than we were last year. I, I feel like the depth and the athleticism that we have across our defensive group as I look at it. And of course, all of this is, you know, staying healthy. And right now, we're going to get through camp lock on the little defense league, and then we get through camp uh, very healthy. And so I feel like it's the deepest defensive unit that we've had. So I'm looking forward to watching the, those guys play. And the things that we want to try to improve on defensively from last year, there's a lot of positive being the top, you know, one of the top 40 defenses in college football. But one of the things we want to improve on is we're going to create more turnovers and create more sacks and tackles for losses, maybe the yards plays from the offensive unit. So that's a big, a big focus for us on the defensive side. On the offensive side, you know, Gavin, uh, this is the first year that I've worked with Gavin in, in position me because I as a head coach, and sometimes it's hard to you know take that time and, and spend the time in position me with the quarterback. But I chose to do that this year. And the one thing I found out as I spend more and more time around Gavin Harrison is he's super, super intelligent, you know, and his intelligence is, is um, uh, one of his strongest attributes. Um, you know, I just was talking to the New York Giants uh, scout today about him. You know, we talked about his arm strength. He says arm strength is as strong as anybody in the league, uh, in his opinion, which I agree with. So we know he's got the talent. We know he's got the intelligence, and so we're looking for Gavin to have that uh, you know, big senior year because he's got a lot of experience for us, and obviously we feel like you know having Tyron Smith uh, choose to come back and be with us was really huge for the, for the offensive football team, and then we feel like all those young receivers that were young and inexperienced last year are now returning for another year of experience, and those guys have had a tremendous camp. Uh, a lot of the guys around Tyron, uh, Kelly Akari, Marcus Allen, those guys, Jeremiah Bauer, those guys all had great Kim Samari White. So we created some really good depth there at the receiver position. And of course, we know our, our backfield is very talented. We've added, we've added Zell Jolly to our backfield to give us even more depth there to go along with Thomas Burgess, Mike Fresno, and of course, Deion Hankins, who's up to 235 pounds right now. So Deion's looking really, really good and physical at that running back spot. Our offensive line is the strength of our offensive unit. And uh, you know, we got five guys coming back. The two of them started six years ago and they've great shirts since then. And the other three have started lots of games. So we got a lot of experience there. So feel comfortable. And we gotta we gotta play our kind of football. That's the key for us to have the kind of success that we need to have. And the special teams, 
you know, the question I'm getting asked all the time about special teams is the new kicker, right? And uh, Buzz Flaviano has got a really talented leg. And uh, to help, uh, you know, I think he's going to continue to get better and better. And we know the talent's there. So it should be, you never know how your kicker's going to do until he gets in the game and kicks, right? So that's going to be finding out how he's going to do what we know. He's got the talent. We've got Josh Sloan coming back as a punter. And uh, but on our special teams in general, we're going to be better because we're more talented, we're more athletic, and so I'm looking forward to watching our special team units as a whole playing each and every ball game. So, um, you know, those are my thoughts going into the first game. As you know, I can get very detailed about personnel, so I can catch myself. I started catching myself right there, and uh, I'll open up to questions from there.